Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today, it is the 1st of January 2021. We're here. 2020 is behind us. And it's a nice, bright day. On my New Year's Eve vlog, everything was really cold and damp and wet and grey. And today, already looks so much brighter. We are still in tier 4 and also it is a bank holiday so I expect most places will be closed but I just need to find somewhere where I can find some tin foil so I can cook my meat for today otherwise I'll be having no dinner and also not as important I want to see if I can find a wall calendar with a planner on because I usually always choose one on New Year's Day and it looks like I'm not going to have as much choice today because many of the shops are closed I always get two actually I always get my Blackpool calendar and I sometimes buy that from one of the Blackpool groups or I sometimes buy it from one of the calendar stalls that's selling them and then I like to pick another calendar in early January if I can find a cool one that is a little bit cheaper in the sales but today I don't know if I'll be able to get any kind of calendar at all it's so quiet down here I mean, New Year's Day is traditionally fairly quiet in town, but some shops usually do open and plenty of people do like to either return unwanted gifts or look for bargains. So today is going to be a quiet day as we walk into town, everybody. At least it's nice and bright. You can see down there, that's I point the camera down New Bonny Street, the tide is mostly in. I'll just walk to the railings and I will zoom in on that for you in a second. Just let me get to the railings. Here we go. And we're going to zoom in on the tide. And you can see there. Tide is in. So let's come on out again. You can hear the friendly seagulls over the wind. You can see Coral Island there. That's closed. The tower there looking just as majestic and beautiful as it always looks. Stood tall against the blue sky. That's a great shot. Let me just pay attention to crossing the road. That would be a very good idea. That road there is full road. Full road is already on the streets of Blackpool series. You want to check that one out? Mickey Finn's traditional fish and chips is closed. Palmer traditional fish and chips also closed. And the Booze and News closed. William Hill closed. Traditional fish and chips. Meet and place. Oh, I see. Meeting place. Blackpool puns, eh, guys? I like how that's been there for a fair old while and I've only just realised what it meant. See McDonald's there, the Edith Centre, many years ago that used to be a Marks and Spencer's from what I remember. That is Albert Road going up there, 
Albert Road is already on my Streets of Blackpool series if you want to check that out got the new Sands Hotel there the outside is pretty much finished and I have filmed almost all of that transformation from the quirky old building to the new modern architecture look of the new hotel you just see inside there well not inside the building obviously but you can see inside the fence not been any work done on there for a fair old while opposite the Sands Hotel we've got TK Maxx formerly CNA I used to love CNA I used to go in there every Saturday with a couple of friends and just spend the whole morning trying clothes on because he had some really big changing rooms on the left hand side at the back of the store and you could take about five items in so we would just go in there and try on all these clothes that we would never in a million years be able to afford to buy and the assistants were cool on the doors they knew that we weren't going to buy anything we were just kids but yeah trying the clothes on was fun that is Adelaide Street West that little road there leading to the sea here we've got the Poundland I was hoping that would be open so I could buy a calendar and the Poundland is in the old Woolworths premises and the Sports Direct is also in the old Woolworths premises but it's upstairs it's also closed and um, we've also got Game which is housed within the Sports Direct buildings now it's down the side of the tower at one point you could walk right through there because it was like a little alley there is Primark I remember when that was Littlewoods and they did a great breakfast there you could go and get five or six items for something like £1.50 or whatever it was I don't really remember and I used to go there with my sister a lot because you could just choose your own items and pretty much customise your own breakfast here we've got the world famous tower buildings let me just come back a little bit so you can appreciate that and um, look up there there she is Blackpool Tower just look at the brickwork carving on these if I just come in a little bit closer here we have the circus gallery we move on to the next one the circus pit and the last one is the tower and also randomly there's a big pile of sprouts on the floor I guess they were left over or not used and somebody just chucked them out there for the seagulls do the seagulls eat sprouts? they probably do, I think they eat pretty much anything either way they're biodegradable so that's alright there's boots, I don't remember boots being anything else but boots there we have the KFC when I was little that used to be a pancake house and I used to walk past there and I always wanted to go in there never got to go in there ever but yeah I always wanted to go in that pancake house and have one of those posh pancakes there is the other Poundland store also closed and that was also Woolworths if I remember rightly and this whole building used to be Lewis's years ago we all remember that famous turquoise blue honeycomb design great shop Lewis's you could buy anything from there and one of these shops here it was either that one 
or that one, I don't really remember which. It was a little baby clothes shop called Adams. And used to get a lot of my kids clothes from there. And here, that, now I get these mixed up, it was either Miss Selvages or Chelsea Girl, I think it was Miss Selvages, and in, Lu not Lewis's, in Littlewoods, the building we've just looked at, and I think the second floor in Littlewoods, it was either Chelsea Girl or Miss Selvages, and I always get those two mixed up, but one of them was there, and one of them was there. And every time I say that, somebody tells me in the comments and I say, oh yeah, and then I forget again the next time I mention it. It's like a piece of information that I just can't retain. Wow. I did think some places like B&M's would be open, but it looks like not. Looks like I'm not going to get my calendar today, folks. But more worryingly, I might not even end up with my tinfoil either oh look the pound plus store is open maybe they sell tin foil i'm going to try there see if i can get my tin foil from there because i do need my tin foil otherwise i can't cook my chicken so i'm going to say i hope you had a nice quiet relaxing new year's eve and thank you for watching please leave me a like and a comment and please subscribe and I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.